So ideal for your winter cod and whiting. Uh, this rig utilises these uh, rig springs. I use the Tronics Pro ones. Uh, that's the only real particular bit of tackle you need for this. Everything else is, is your normal stuff, uh, terminal tackle-wise. You've got your rig clips there. Um, beads. I'm going to use this shock leader, 50-pound shock leader, but it's... Um, in yellow I'd use the grey one we just this shows up a little bit better on the camera now you do need in particular you do need a lead that's got um, the hook here um, and that's for the impact uh, of the two hooks that you're going to tie to give you an overview you're going to tie these two hooks onto the rig they've got a bead and a sequin there and then a stop on either side and the snoods are two different lengths and the main difference with this rig to the ones we've tied so far is going to be these springs and that takes a bit of the impact as well so you do need some of these springs if you're struggling to get hold of them I'll pop some in the post to you maybe the first sort of two or three people that request it in the comments so cut off uh, a meter or so of the main body of rig as I say we're using the 50 pound grease weasel for this one so this is going to be your rig clip uh, you can put a swivel on here as well so be onto the swivel and onto the rig clip don't forget to moisten trimming using these pliers today but um, nail clippers are, are probably a little bit better It's because I don't know what I've done with my nail clippers right okay so that's obviously the bottom of the rig that the weight goes on to you're going to need one of these type of leads because the two hooks are going to be tied onto that clip there and we're going to tie everything all onto this main rig body line in order and we're going to start with a crimp then a bead you only need the micro beads for this one, smaller. Then we're going to use the rig springs. They're a little bit fiddly, and that can go on next. This is where cutting the line uh, a little bit of an angle helps. So, so far there we've obviously got a, a crimp, a bead, and one of those springs. And the next thing you need is another bead. small 150 or 200 pound swivel and another bead and the crimp for that bead that's a good time to check you got it in the right order as well so you got crimp bead spring bead swivel bead crimp and then you're going to replicate that again for the other hook snood basically but you're going to go a crimp first and then another bead and then a spring another bead a swivel bead for the other side of the swivel and then the last crimp and then before you tie the other end I just have a check what's going on down here so you've got a crimp, a bead, a spring and then you're going to crimp on your swivel there between those two beads and then for the other hook and then for the and then for the other hook you've got your crimp bead spring two beads there either side of that swivel and a crimp so when you're happy that that's right to the last swivel <coughs> you can then tie on your swivel that's going to go to your main line okay now for your hook snoods um, we're using 30 pounds here um, because it's a lot easier to sharp on the camera but you could use 20 15 sometimes yeah, maybe 25 but um, as I say we're using 30 here just so you can see it a little bit better so your first snood is the 10 inch one so your 10 inches there of that 30 pound line um, and then you're just going to put a bait stop in here so first thing is the crimp and then the bead uh, and then that little sequin there a good way to pick up the sequin is to lick your finger and then just dab it down on the sequin like that like that that's a good way to use it rather than using your thumb and finger and then you're going to tie that onto the lower swivel so the swivel that's obviously 
this is 10 inches here you want to put that on the swivel on the main bit of rig that's the nearest to the lead so there's the lead clip on ours and then you're going to tie it onto this swivel obviously it's a shorter length of snood so it's closer to the weight clip so tie that one on always moisten the line both hooks should fall down at the same point and that same point should be just above where you're going to clip it onto the weight so if I bring the weight into view here when I clip that on there that is going to be clipped onto there and then follow that up so you're keeping the black line nice and straight all the way up all the way up to there and then you just want to put in a little bit of um, tension into that spring okay so when you unclip the hook okay it'll you want to put a bit of tension into that spring so that when you actually unclip the hook from this end when the lead hits the bottom there'll be two hooks on there and they'll both come off um, even though there's a bit of tension because of those springs so when you're happy with the position you're going to crimp that there and that will hold that first snood in place my black line there is attached to the and then you want to give this swivel in there a little bit of movement I use uh, a thumb width apart and then put the next crimp there so that the swivel can move between those two beads but will be under tension when it clips on to the weights clip so we're crimping that into so we're crimping that into place one inch away uh, from the spring and then if you've done your measurements right which I didn't quite do for this one uh, so I had to do this snood again but it uh, tie that on to the last remaining swivel so when you've tied that second hook snood on you'll obviously have two hooks and they can both be put on the lead clip if if you haven't got a lead available um, I would just just add about a thumb uh, distance away from your lead clip so you've now got two hooks that can go onto that uh, breakaway lead clip thing there so obviously when that hits the water that will push those two hooks away so follow that up keeping everything tight and then you'll come across the first dropper there and then follow that all the way up all the way up all the way up and then you get to the next one and you're just going to replicate what you've done on the first one there okay which is to put it under a little bit of tension and put the wire under a little bit of tension there and then you're going to mark where that needs to go and crimp it into place and leaving a little bit of slack at the top there for that last crimp that's the one that my finger's pointing to about there again about a thumb thumb width away from that top bead then you'll come across your first hook snood and then a little bit further down your next one please could you subscribe uh, be really good to get a few more subscribers um, we're going to do some giveaways in tomorrow's video as well um, so please subscribe uh, make some comments have you used the rig is it something uh, you want to see more of please let me know and I'll keep doing them and we'll keep looking at other different rigs as well as all the other bits we do on the channel so thank you very much for watching